and welcome back to ETV Entertainment Television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. And now that summer is yeah, officially here, not quite, but sooner or later it'll be here, um, well, we actually make our way into summer with the Shakespeare Festival. So joining me today are the Fool Squad. Is the Fool Squad? We are art. Art, art the Fool Squad. Yeah. Yeah. Thou all, art the Fool Squad. All I know is it's Joe and Tom, and they're the Fool Squad. And these guys pretty much warm up the crowd at the Idaho Shakespeare Festival. Tell us a little bit more about, you know, first off, the Shakespeare Festival in general, and then I want to know what exactly you guys do, this whole warm-up role, you know? Idaho Shakespeare Festival, wow. now in its uh, 34th season. Is that how many? Uh, 34, I believe. Wow, and we're only 23, so. I know. <laughs> anyway, do the math. All work. Do the math but there. It's an outdoor theater, mm -hmm. and, and back in the day when you didn't reserve a seat, you just grabbed your blanket and rushed onto the hill. Got there about 4 o'clock, yeah. sat there and sat there. So uh, <laughs> Joe and I put together a little short, you know. 1993 hey. the year was, I believe. 93. The first Tom and Joe Green show. So we would go out in front of the audience and keep them awake until the actual <laughs> show started at 8 o'clock. And they had been so successful that even though people are reserved seating and everything like that, we do the Green Show anyway. They get there early, they still feel like they're sitting on a tree root, just like at the old Park Center site. <laughs> mm, God, I'm uncomfortable, but I don't want to leave. These guys are funny. So you guys have been doing this for 17 years now? No, since 1993. That's 17 years. 17 years we've been doing this. That's fabulous. Man, alive! Yeah. Oh! You should have gone to the I should anyway. go have a checkup. <laughs> wow. Is there a doctor in the house? Man. I need one. I am at that um, stage. Now, tell me about what the line This is the kind of stuff that you said you'd cut out, right? Right. Yeah. This isn't going to be None of this will make the air Because we look like idiots. <laughs> Tree root. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, who writes this stuff anyway? Uh, tell me a little bit about more uh, about the upcoming shows at the Shakespeare Festival. Uh, opened last weekend with A Midsummer Night's Dream, uh, a classic of the Shakespeare Festival. Uh, in fact, that, 1960s. That, that know, show deals. opened the new right. Shakespeare uh, Amphitheater out in uh, out on Warm Springs, uh, and it's apparently never gone away. So we've got Midsummer Night's Dream. Back. The second show to open is Bat Boy. Bat Boy. The musical. Now, granted, I wasn't a literary major, but I, I don't remember Bat Boy being part of the Shakespeare. Little, Shakespeare wrote little Bat Boy. Little known Boy tragedy. Later in his career. Yeah. yeah. He was running out of, like, you know, uh, subtitled Captain plays. Captain America was already done. Marlowe yeah. was working at Captain America. <laughs> I figure when he was a freelancer for the National Enquirer or so, he was true. Yeah. And they were doing little shop of tutors. <laughs> <laughs> That's for our scholars. Can I pull my finger? <laughs> okay, sorry. No, yes, my lord. Yes, oh, scholars yes. don't watch this uh, show. All right, yeah. it's all right. We're safe. Now, as far as the other shows, we've got uh, what, Ideal Husband is one? An Ideal Husband. An Ideal Husband. By uh, Oscar Madison. <laughs> uh, Dolly Madison. Felix, <laughs> where's the idea? <laughs> <laughs> now it's garbage. Uh, That's an Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. It's a lovely, very funny Yes, play. it's women in bustles. Mm -hmm. And um, I said bustle. Whoa, can bustle. you say that? Um, in the afternoon? <laughs> no, right in the bustle. <laughs> Now, now, obviously, you know, for some of these people that are, you know, extremely on the... You're talking about them? Yeah. Okay. If some nice. Did you hear what he called you? If some of these them are, are not all that into the whole Shakespeare thing, it's good to know that there's a little bit more variety Well, there. then they won't come anyway. But they should. But I think they should. Yeah. They should. Now, um, as, as far as... I know that you guys have somewhat of a tradition with the wine thing and stuff. Can you, can you briefly mention that? Like, do you guys get free wine when you go there? Are you talking about our drinking? <laughs> you know, like bringing that the up. The green show sometimes spills off the stage Don't itself. Say spill. That's true. <laughs> uh, I'm a pelican. The green. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, oh, you have, we, we were, we were gonna get show, away right? from the oil spill, and now you. Sometimes just... we will leave the stage and go out into the audience, right. and uh, they are fair game as far as we're concerned. That's true. Some people call the box office in advance to, to find out where they can sit that is the furthest away from. From, uh, us, right. or actually want to be in the show. In fact, we were doing a green show the other night, and some woman said, I've waited for five years for you to eat my food. And she just had this little tub of potato salad that know, wasn't particularly good. But it meant good. the world to her. It did. It did. Right, well, speaking of calling the box And the office, cholesterol meant a lot to me. How do people actually get the tickets? Um, um, scalping. Uh, Go out scalping. there. And grab some wealthy people, mm -hmm. grab them right by the fur, and say, hey, give there's me usually, some of your tickets. There's usually a, a, a duke out front going, yes. oh, who needs two for the second row? Oh, oh fellow, I know. Or I'm guessing I know. there might be a website yeah. that they can check out. Probably, yeah. Sure. There's probably a website. IdahoShakespeare.org. It's probably making that up. We are. 
or it's call 336-9221. Three, three, two, two, That's the number. 336-9221. Three, three, two, two, call That's now. 336-9221. Three, three, well, You're well. watching ETV. Yes, you are. And we'll Look be right back. Vacuum. Thanks for joining us, guys. I, I wish we had another 24 minutes or so. Oh, you said we had 24 minutes. Oh, okay. We well, we'll be right back. Because I got the puppet. more of these guys. Yeah, well, there's a whole. As ETV continues.